So the question was how to reverse an array using Python. Uh, first, we will define an array. So I have defined an array. I will call a reverse. Array. It is an user defined function. It is an user defined function which I will be defining now, which I will be creating the function now. I will pass this my array into this uh, uh, reverse array inbuilt function and then I will be printing the reverse array. Is I'm again calling my array. I'll tell you why. Why I am again calling my array. Okay. So the def will be defining. We copy this. Control C. Control V. We pass an argument array, and then and now I'll, I'll define a new variable gen which will find the length of an array the length of an array here is 5 1 2 3 4 5 so the value of n is 5 Now I can define another variable when I start, which I'll give the value zero. I'll define another variable end, which I'll give value n minus one. Because if you look at uh, the index of an array, it starts from zero and it will go, it goes till n minus one. So these are index of an array in short. And then I will run off while loop while start is less than end so here the start value is 0 and n value is n minus 1 what is the n value 5 so the end value will be 4 now what must be our input and what must be our output? This is this will be our input. This will be our input and our output should be 54321. So I'll create a temporary variable temp. Now I'll pass array of start. The assignment all always works from right to left. So the start variable array of start array of start value is array of start is array start value is zero array of zero array of zero is one. So array of uh, temporary variable value is one. Now I'll uh, as array of start is empty after assigning it to temporary variable. I will assign array of start value with array of end value. Now, now if uh, the array of end, end value is 4, array of 4, fourth index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, fourth array of start value is now, it is a 5. Okay, after I assigned array of end value to array of start, array of n value will be empty so I'll give temp value to array of n it goes in the loop it works like uh, a equals to b b equals to c and 
C equals to J. It works in a loop. A assigns to B, B assigns to C, C again assigns to A. So it works in this format. And after swapping, this is nothing but swap function. Swap function. And now, after swapping, we will increment the value of start and end. PRT start plus or equal to 1 and end value I will decrement the end value and minus or equal to 1 in start start first value is 0 after incrementing the value becomes 1 after decrementing end value the y value becomes 3 okay it runs until start is less than end okay after this, if I run this code, you can see the reverse array is 54321. I'll explain how the code works. See, our input is 12345. The index of an array is 0, 1, 2, 3, 0 to n, uh, 0 to n minus 1. This is n minus 1. As told, as I told, the n minus 1 value is 4. n minus 1 value is 4. Now, this is our input. I want to swap all the elements. So, the output value must be 54321. In first iteration, the start value is 0 and the end value is 4. So, array of Array of start, array of 0, value is 1. As you can see, array of 0, value is 1. Now, array of end, array of uh, end value is 4. So, the array of 4, value is 5. You can see here, array of 4, value is 5. Now, I will, uh, for simplicity purpose, I will uh, denote array of start as A and array of end as b. I am explaining the swapping function. Now, first array of start, that is a, gives its value to temporary variable. What is the array of start value? 1. 1 is given to temporary variable. Now, as uh, a is empty, array of start is empty, now this will be filled using array of end. Array of end b value is 5. Now the 5 will be given to array of start. Now the temporary variable has array 1. So this 1 will be given to 5. So what happens is A gets 5 and B gets 1. This is uh, the simple example which I told uh, you. And what happens? Now array of start value is 5, array of end value is 1. So, array of start value is what? It is 0 and 4. What happens? A new list is not created in this function. But instead, the existing array is updated to this array. Now, after I increment start value plus 1, and end after I decrement end value, so the start value will be 1 and the end value will be 3. Now, if you go back to the question, start is 1 and end is 3. 1 is less than 3. So, the while loop continues. Now, what happens? Array of start value. Array of start. Array of 1. Array of 1 is 2, which I have denoted here. And array of uh, end, 3. Array of 3 is Four I mentioned here. So the same swap function goes on. Now array of start, which is one and three. Zero and four. Zero gets five. Four gets one. One gets four and three gets two. And because because we can't take an increment from here after. Why? Because if I increment one, it will become two. 
and if I decrement end, it will become also 2. As it is not less than, as start is not less than end, the while loop ends. And the, therefore, the final output is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is the answer.